So TLC has always believed that every baby deserves a family. It's been like our motto for 30 years. And I know that many colleagues in the service sector believe that too, that babies deserve and need to be in families. There's no question about it. Even those of us who have run institutions where we care for children in a group residential care situation realize that families, hands down, are better. Right? That's not an argument. What we have currently happening in South Africa is, is, is couched under the phrase deinstitutionalization. So the idea of taking children from institutions and putting them into community care, specifically foster care. We don't disagree with the logic that every baby does better in a family that is loving and supported and enabled you know, in, in the way that they need to to meet the child's needs. The current South African context needs us to do that very carefully. We have a very heavy burden of children who need safe families. And we have a very limited number of families that are vetted and safe for now. I'm not saying that they don't exist. I'm just saying that right now on the books, there seems to be a, a, dis, a disconnect between how many families we need for these children and how many are available and safe. What's happening now is worrying to me because the, the safety net, the bridge between being abandoned and left with nobody and being placed in a family looks like institutional care. That is what it looks like. We have well-established, well-run, not all of us, I, I guarantee, I grant you that, but many organizations are well-established, well-run and have been offering an excellent level of care and service to these children. And now the deinstitutionalization policy looks to completely remove that safety net from, from society in favor of foster families which in an ideal world is fine because you wouldn't need them, right? If you've got established foster families who are well supported and safe, no problem. But in South Africa, it is a problem because we don't have the numbers to match the need. So I just want to, to ask people to engage with this very, very cautiously, understanding that it's not in our, our uh, hearts to try and sustain an institutional life for children for their whole lives. It is merely to be that bridge between needing a safe space and having a safe space. In the meantime, we can provide as safe a space as possible within our constraints of an organization while the families are found. Imagine if you could find those families quickly, make sure that they could be sustained to have a long-term relationship with those children so that they have are equipped emotionally and with resource and with education to know what the needs of a child coming into care looks like. These are skills that families need to have because otherwise you have what we call foster care breakdowns or reloading of the children into the foster care system where they go from family to family to family as their needs become unmanageable. And then eventually you end up with children with conduct disorder, which is really an emotional reaction to not belonging. And then they come back into an institutional setting when they're teenagers or delinquents or mental health patients because they haven't had what you needed in a family setup. So let's just do this cautiously. Let's work together. Why do we have to make ourselves adversaries? We are all in it for the children's best interests. We're not adversaries. We should be teammates and, and players on the same battleground trying to make sure that the best outcomes for these children are found. And it, that can only be done if we work together and we have proper conversations without the, the, um, the politicking and really look at what needs exist and how can we meet those best. That's what we're asking.